वेलकम टू अवर कोर्स ऑन मास्टरिंग न्यूमेरिकल मेथड फॉर पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस विद मैटलाइफ टुडे वी विल डाइव इनटू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एक्सप्लिसिट फॉरवर्ड आइदर टाइम स्टेपिंग मेथड फॉर पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस विद एग्जांपल दिस लेक्चर विल गाइड यू थ्रू द फाउंडेशनल कांसेप्ट एंड प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ दिस मेथड एनहांसिंग योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड प्रोफिशिएंसी इन सॉल्विंग पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस विद मैटलाइफ लेट्स एम्बार्क ऑन दिस एजुकेशनल जर्नी टुगेदर This is the lecture on the introduction of explicit forward Euler time stepping method for partial differential equations with applications. Today uh, we will have exciting and informative session lined up for you. The content we will cover during this lecture include introduction of the explicit method. We will begin with an overview of explicit method, focusing on their significance and general characteristic in numerical computations. Then Euler forward formula next we will delve into the euler forward formula the fundamental approach in numerical analysis we will discuss its derivative implementation and role in solving differentiation applications then we have the application to partial differential equations moving forward we will explore how the Euler forward method can be applied specifically to partial differential equations. This section will include example uh, to illustrate its practical utility and effectiveness. Finally, we will have a hands-on demonstration of the Euler forward method using MATLAB. This segment will guide you through the coding process, showing you how to implement the method and analyze the result. By the end of this lecture, you would have a solid understanding of the explicit forward Euler time stepping method, its application to partial differential equations and how to implement it's using MATLAB. This is the introduction about Euler forward method, which is also known as the explicit Euler method. is one of the simplest and most straightforward time stepping scheme used to solve partial differential equations. It is an explicit method, meaning the solution at the next time step is determined directly from the known quantities at the current time step. This method is particularly useful for solving initial value problems. The nature of the scheme uh, include the solution at the next time step is computed using only information from the current time step. And second, due to its straightforward nature, the Euler forward method is easy to implement. And uh, third is the method is first order accurate in time, meaning the local truncation error is proportional to the time step size delta t. So here we have the general dependent uh, partial differential equation of the form uh, del u upon del t is equal to f u t. The Euler forward method approximate the time derivative by finite difference u n plus 1 is equal to u n plus delta t f u n t n and on the right hand side you can observe that u n t n and f u n t n yeah all are known functions and uh, on the left hand side u raised to power n plus 1 which is unknown so u n plus 1 depend on the right hand side where u n is the solution at the time step n delta t is the time step size and uh, f u n t n is the function representing the right hand side of the partial differential equation here we are considering very simple linear partial differential equation is the heat equation and uh, many examples I already we chose this uh, equation to solve by using different method so here also we are choosing very simple example and uh, in this example you can see that uh, we have is uh, del u upon del t is equal to alpha del to u upon delta x square and x lies between 0 to l uh, t lies between uh, 0 to t and the initial condition when t is equal to 0, we have u x 0 is equal to sine pi x. So we will implement, we will, uh, our method to solve this uh, initial value problem in partial differential equation. So what do we do? The finite difference method, we can discretize the time and space is follow t n is equal to n delta t and x i is equal to i delta x. So here, uh, uh, you need to understand very carefully the concept uh, about the finite difference. So here uh, we are given these two. One is 
in this direction x domain and on the vertical we have the time so here uh, we can have some vertical lines which will divide in the meshes and this is the just mesh grid as you can see here and uh, there is horizontal lines in this direction which are parallel to x axis okay so here uh, suppose this is time t n and here we have is x i at this place we have is u i n and here we have is u i n minus 1 and at this place we have is u i n plus 1 so the difference between these two we have is delta x this is also the delta x sorry this is delta t and this is delta t and delta t okay so when we have del u upon del t when we have t is equal to t n is equal to this is the forward for the forward we have is u i n plus 1 minus u i n upon delta t or for the forward you can use this is approximate this is the forward and for the backward the same we will have to choose only these two values note these two point okay so this will give an as del u upon del t t is equal to t n will approximate u i n minus u i n minus 1 upon delta t and also we required the second order special derivative that is we have uh, for that we have to choose this is uh, u i minus 1 n and this point we have is u i plus 1 n so from this point to this point del to u upon del x square this is the central finite difference when we have x is equal to x i will be given by u i plus 1 n minus 2 u i n and plus u i minus 1 n upon delta x square so these are required how we can divide the given domain in the mesh grid and after that we can uh, use the finite difference technique and corresponding their derivative to get these values so now uh, we have uh, del u upon del t when t is equal to n approximate to u i n plus 1 minus u i n upon del t and uh, del to u upon del x square x is equal to x i will approximate to u n i plus 1 minus 2 u i n plus u n i minus 1 upon del x square we have to use these two values in the given partial differential equation so on the left hand side we will put this value and on the right hand side we will use this value and uh, after substituting these values into the given heat equation we will have the equation number two and uh, after that we need to simplify the same equation for this expression u i n plus one u i n plus one will be equal to after simplifying is equal to u i n plus delta t product alpha u n i plus one minus two u i n plus u i minus one n upon delta x square this equation is very very important to write the metal port and by using this equation <coughs> we can find our solutions this equation allows us to iteratively solve for the temperature distribution u at future time and here u i n represent the solution at special location i and time step n delta x is the special step size and alpha is the thermal diffusivity so on the right hand side when we have uh, these values are known this value is known alpha is also known and all these value corresponding to our initial conditions or are known and this is the new value so all these values uh, we have to given when t is equal to tn and we have to find out this value when t is equal to tn plus 1 so uh, this is the uh, values which are given for the current time and uh, uh, next on the next time we have to find this expression so corresponding to this uh, equation we will write our code and uh, this will help you to simplify and to visualize our result uh, this is the uh, while the 
Euler forward method is simple to implement. It is conditionally stable. The stability criterion of the heat equation is given by the current uh, current Friedrich's levy condition, which is defined is delta T is less than and equal to delta x square upon 2 alpha. Failure to satisfy the condition can lead to the numerical instability and divergence of the solution. So this condition must be satisfied. Only then our solution will be stable now here is the matlab code for the same problem as we discussed now and uh, we have to select some parameters corresponding to each so here you can see that the length of the road we are choosing here is one the length of the road is one and uh, the final time which we choose at this place is t is equal to 0.01 alpha the thermal diffusivity we have is 0 0.1 so nx is equal to 100 this will divide this uh, special domain into 100 point so nx is equal to 100 and nd is in this direction so uh, that is also we have from this point to this point we have is 0 to 0 0.1 which we choose at a space so uh, this will, uh, this also nd will divide the number of the steps or uh, the number of the point from this point to this point dx will be equal to l up upon nx minus 1 special time step and dt is equal to t upon nt this will be the time step size so both has been computed at this place and all these values are required for the parametric values and only then we are able uh, to simplify corresponding to these parametric values after that uh, we have the special grid so x is equal to lin space 0 to l and uh, nx are the number of a point so this will generate the special grid for x domain and also the initial condition we are given u x 0 is equal to sine pi x so the same code we can write this part is u 0 and u 0 is equal to sine pi x this is the matlab syntax to represent this initial condition so in the initial condition will uh, computed at this place after that we now we have to apply at this place the boundary conditions g1 is the left and g2 is the right boundary and both are zero at uh, when we have uh, x is equal to zero and x is equal to one okay now uh, pre-allocate uh, solution matrix we have to use for the uh, u uh, is equal to zeros n t and nx corresponding to this n n t and nx domain uh, this is the zero matrix now we have to initialize the conditions here you can see this will compute all the values when we have this point when t is 0 okay u0 is uh, 8 t equal to 0 okay and uh, u0 is equal to also we have uh, sin pi x right so uh, the meaning of this code is u10 means when t is equal to 0 we have to compute all the values okay at this point so the initial condition for this domain from this point to this point will be computed where t is equal to zero now we have to apply the time stepping loop and uh, explicit Euler method this is very important now you can see here is that u n plus one i so u i n plus one which is the left hand side of our solution is equal to uh, u i n then we have is alpha delta t upon delta x square and then we have uh, u i plus one and minus 2 u i n and plus u i minus 1 n okay so this left side is this expression u uh, this can be written as u n i can be written as u n i then we have the alpha product dt upon dx square and here uh, this part u i plus 1 n can be written as u n i plus 1 and this part we will uh, express here u n i and this part we have is u n comma i minus one. So the equation which we uh, established in the presentation the same we have at this place just we convert in the MATLAB syntax. Now uh, the time will start from this point to at this place. So the index we have is uh, 1, uh, 2, 3 and up to n. So for the time we have n will vary from 1 to n t minus 1. But for the x uh, the boundary values we have already 
given so we need to compute only the interior points these points are interior okay so at this place we have is one and at this place once again you can see uh, this is x0 and this is nx okay so we need to compute only the values at the interior point this point this point this point since these values are already we are given so for the interior point the index this will be 2 and this will be nx minus 1 so that's why uh, for loop for x special domain we will have 2 to nx minus 1 and for the time uh, we have to compute from this place to this place and here the index is 1 and this is the last value which is nt minus 1 okay uh, since the at this point the next value will be computed so they, that's why we will choose only nt minus 1 this value will be automatically computed because this is a forward scheme we are using here so the loop for for loop will vary from n equal to 1 to nt minus 1 and then first we will end this loop and then we will end this loop uh, this uh, loop is ended below okay and uh, after that uh, we will compute the values of uh, boundary conditions as you can see u n plus plus one to one this is the g1 and uh, this is the second boundary condition u n plus one n x g x since uh, when we have uh, we have to compute the all the points this point okay we are given only the point when uh, t is equal to zero this point this point and this condition left boundary and right boundary but as the time will increase we need to compute all this point on the left boundary and on the right boundary and all these will be computed with uh, this equation and then we will enter the far loop after that uh, we can uh, visualize the result and for that we are using surf function x length space 0 to t and t comma x and then we have the x label y label z label and title is 1d heat equation solution using explicit Euler method box on and grid on so these are the some sequence of statement and by using all these we can easily visualize our result okay so you once again you can observe all the steps which we discuss here uh, one by one i think uh, all these are visible to all of you okay now we can execute this sequence of statement to visualize our result when we will run this code you can see we have this graph so this is the solution of uh, heat equation using explicit Euler method on the top you can see the title and uh, on the horizontal lines uh, on the right side we have the position x uh, varies from 0 to 1 and uh, on the other horizontal line we have is time from 0 to 0 0.01 and on the vertical line we have the temperature level okay so i hope uh, this will help you to understand so in the summary uh, the Euler forward explicit time stepping method is a fundamental tool for numerical solutions its simplicity makes it a great starting point for understanding time stepping scheme although its application is limited by stability constant for problems requiring more robust stability properties implicit method or more advanced implicit explicit scheme may be more suitable as we conclude our session on the explicit forward Euler time stepping method for partial differential equations i hope you have gained a clear understanding of its principles and applications this method is serve as crucial tool in solving partial differential equations and mastering it will significantly enhance your computational skill with matlab thank you for your attention and participation let's continue to explore and deepen our knowledge in the upcoming session Yes.